Hey honeys, how is everybody today? Today is Monday and we are 14 weeks out. I did my cardio this morning and I was out with Noel today. I'm just about to make up my workout meal. So with the diet it can be quite restrictive as in with food sources. I know we're still 14 weeks out but I'm like obviously I'm going to start cutting more stuff out as in aspartamines and that. Just be quite careful with your digestive system and what suits you. But I don't really have to worry about that at the moment. I'll, I'll focus on cutting out like salt or whatever. Uh, closer to the time. But I can still I have a little bit of leeway to play around with some food. So I was trying to think of ways to make my carb days a little bit just a little bit more interesting. And I'm gonna try out pancakes. So I'm excited. <laughs> I know, like prep style pancakes because I have protes all the time, but why not? Like if I can use the same ingredients, um, I'll try that out. So I'm going to do that for even a while. But this morning I weighed in um, and I'm down another kilo. So with people are like asking my body fat percentage and that, I'm not, I, I'm just not going to go by body fat percentage just for a couple more weeks. We tend to go by scales and I know a lot of people go, oh the scales, just as a guideline. So I weigh in twice a week and just to kind of see the scales going down because obviously I gained a good bit. So if what I'm doing is working, the scales will go down in a fat sense and I'm doing it smartly. So I started at 67 kilos. Um, this prep which and my stage weight for Cork was 54 and my stage weight for Kilkenny was 55 so as a guideline where I'm at kind of for this prep and this morning I weighed in at 64 so you know it's good and I'm happy I'm looking to lose round about a kilo and a half a week um, for now and then about a kilo coming down to the time I'm I'm trying to keep the food as high as I can. That's the kind of smart thing with prep. With prep, we're on quite a timeline. Like it's all about timing. So you don't want to do it all at once. Like go hell for leather, cut all your food, smash out your cardio, and then have like nothing else to go to. Like that, the hour cardio in the morning and keeping the carb day every second day, which I'm enjoying. It's livable. <laughs> at least I have energy to function uh, for now and obviously I'm gonna get tired like this morning I was knackered I arrived in to train and I was like oh I just had to get going and get it done and you are gonna have some of them days so like it's okay you know what I did want to just say that about scales next people like wondering how I was tracking and like I said we do have a bikini video so my next bikini video is already on Wednesday like that was already two weeks it's going so fast as usual you never realize how fast it goes um, we're prepping it's just all about time so we're like 13 and a half weeks out now yes I'm gonna make up some protein pancakes now I haven't tried this one before so if they fuck up oh well <laughs> I'm gonna show you that so the mixture is just really easy I'm just literally gonna Nutribullet everything and I was dying to use this pan <laughs> it's so cute it's like the size of my face <laughs> no well my face is quite big but this one okay start off with weighing out my oats okay so this is a post workout meal so i'm gonna do 50 grams just plain oats and like i said we can be a bit more lenient like this way of prep so i'm gonna put a half teaspoon of bacon powder in just to like allow them to rise This I'm gonna obviously the only flavour I have right now is chocolate coconut. So I'm gonna pour the scoop of that in. I'm not too sure the consistency that I want, so I'm gonna put about 150 ml of water and see how that goes. And then I'm gonna put in um three egg whites just to kind of fluff them up a little bit. Just with the dry ingredients, I'm gonna neutral bullet them first, so like the porridge kind of goes to powder, and then I'll pop in the wet ingredients. And then I'm just gonna neutral bullet the both of them together. Okay, 
<laughs> I just can't take this pan seriously. So I'm just gonna preheat the pan um, and then pop on a little bit of fry light spray so the pancakes don't stick to them. So the spoon, just cover the bottom of it. Let it sizzle up. Don't put it on too high because you don't want it to burn. I'll just kind of see how that rises. I think I'm actually doing it too watery. Just look. I can't remember where I got that pan. I'll figure it out for you, so. <laughs> Buzzing, just flip the first one. That looks so cute. And it actually smells fab. So, this seems to work on it. I'm very excited. And I'm just gonna pop them onto this little tray thing, so it like airs through, because I think if you put them straight on the plate, it kind of goes soggy, so yeah. Little tip. And the result. I'm actually really surprised at how many they've made. That mixture ended up making like seven. And like, that's my hand. So they're not like teeny tiny pancakes. I'm actually quite proud of them. Like, it's it's weird because you think, like on prep, you're like, right, no pancakes. I have a waffle maker, and I could definitely do the exact same thing with a waffle ma maker. And I was looking up, um, like, different type of oat cookies you can make. And, like, we are restricted with our food sources. So, if anyone has any links around or, like, any ideas that they have themselves or to make them, like, fluffier or anything like that, um, let me know. And I'm really excited to have these. So, I'll write it on the screen or whatever. Just as a kind of recap, it was 50 grams of oats, half a teaspoon of bacon powder, three egg whites, 150 mils of water, and a scoop of protein powder, and I'm gonna sprinkle it with some cinnamon. It's voila! <laughs> well, I'll do a fabulous if I say so myself. <laughs> Demolished! The only thing is, I think they do need something kind of liquidy. Now, I didn't have any like the, don't be perfect, the Walden Farm maple syrup or the My Protein Zero syrup, something like that fab because like I'm still allowed that on prep but so I'll definitely pop down to body force and get some of them but yeah I'll pop the macros on the screen they were a little bit higher in carb I think you could play around with not putting as much oats in if your carbs weren't as high while I'm up and in the kitchen I'm gonna do some meal prep for tomorrow like I said I'm not too busy with work at the moment but I do like to have my meals prepped or in the kitchen because like sometimes you can just get hungry and you will pull at anything that you can get your hands on to like you know yourself so I always like to have like two or three lunch boxes in the fridge where I can kind of just grab and go so just something really simple I'm just gonna have my protein and veg tomorrow's no carb day so that's what I'm gonna make up now I'll show you so these are gonna be my choice of burgers for tomorrow spicy ones let me see. I think these have the blended jalapenos in it. Yes, they're so amazing, lads. <laughs> Fucking love these. Uh, macros, higher in protein, so I'll have less of them tomorrow. It's 10 grams higher than the average turkey burger. I don't know why, I think there's just more turkey in them. A of fat, you know, about two grams of fat. And then, I know, I did say I like green beans, but Tesco had no green beans. So we'll start for asparagus today. So like that, just preheat the pan, fry light spray, pop on before I put on the turkey burgers. And that's them. So I'll just pop the lid over it and let them kind of cook off for a couple of minutes. And like that's the great thing about having the burgers pre-seasoned or whatever. It just saves so much time. Like I said though, coming closer to competition because I know there's like minimal amounts of salt and dextrose and season in them but I wouldn't have them but just enjoy them while you can and it tastes fabulous but usually it take up so much more time because I put in my own seasons and I have to weigh them out I also buy the turkey mince by the kilo and kind of split them up into 100 gram burgers but obviously I just like chop off all the bottom of the asparagus and rinse it through and I just use these I got them in Tesco's and they're so handy it's just a little bag and it cooks your veg in like two seconds in the microwave. That's just them there. They have like a sticky thing and they're disposable and you just throw them out afterwards and they're like so handy for portioning your veg if you're having a couple of different types. But they're great, they're like two euro I think. And literally, that's it. All them, ready to go. And I'll just wait for them to cool and then I'll pop them in the fridge. Like that, they're just kind of ready to go. Even like if you're not on prep, I definitely recommend always having some sort of solid base. Like I know people are like, oh, where's the carbs? Like that's now for a no carb day. 
and that would say do me for like a day and a half apart from like say your omelette and the bits and bobs like pre and post workout meal but I always have something that you can just you know that there or you know them <laughs> that people are like oh yeah but I snack while I'm cooking at least you have that in the fridge and then it's kind of ready to go for you just one thing as well like a lot of people are asking me what kind of macros are you on or what calories are you on right now and I said in my last vlog and I'll say it again it actually makes no sense whatsoever for me to tell you my macros because we could have the same goal, same body type, same same weight, same, uh, literally could be the exact same, but something isn't gonna work for your body that's gonna work for mine. We're literally all different. Even I'm doing it slightly different to my prep. There's just so much weight to lose in such a fast period of time where we literally have double the amount of time now and literally half the way to lose. So I'm trying to get a bit more calories in, a bit less cardio, a bit more sleep. Um, I, I did just wanna say that like with macros, people are asking, oh, how do you lose fat? At the end of the day, it's calories in versus calories out. So if you're burning more calories than you're eating after your maintenance calories, you're gonna be in a calorie deficit. So you are gonna lose fat. It just depends on how much time you want and we're quite time restricted with this one. It is that, it's not like, there's never gonna be the perfect amount of cardio to do. There's never gonna be the perfect calorie number to eat because everybody functions different. Everyone has a different activity level um, throughout the day. Like even take into consideration your job, whether you have kids or not. Like people forget you also have to live outside prep and it's difficult if you're, and just such a massive calorie deficit. There's always recommendations or guidelines to go by, but you just have to play around. It's all trial and error. And do, like never just use the scales or never just use body fat measurements. Use them all and put them all together. Like there is gonna be some sort of progress there. And also if you're gonna drop your calories that low, you have to be aware your strength's gonna go in the gym. So you can't just train for like strength and fat loss and body composition and building muscle it all doesn't happen at once so you kind of have to pick your choice like i was trying to shoulder press the 10 kg dumbbell today and i was just, like i was sighing as i was doing a butcher that's just you're always gonna have them days and then say four days ago i was pulling uh, 120 kg ripples for eight for the crack so now that's also because my back is strong but it's just a bit of an example. My little short term goal right now is to hit the kind of 60 kilo mark. Cause I know, and not about like, oh, being six kilo weight. It's I know the way my body kind of looks at 60 kilos. I just feel like a little bit more myself so I can start posing, seeing what way my body moves. Now I feel like I've grown a little bit on my upper body. This is the conclusion of the today's vlog if any tips about um different stuff that you have on prep or not on prep recipes or i'll definitely try them out because prep food can get boring as fuck <laughs> so at least <laughs> thanks so much for watching lads and press the subscribe button if you liked